Colonel John Dyke Ackland of Tetton and Pixton in Somerset, was Tory Member of Parliament for Callington in Cornwall and fought in the American War of Independence in 1776. Origins He was the eldest son and heir apparent of Sir Thomas Dyke Ackland, 7th Baronet of Killerton in Devon and Pedderton Park in Somerset by his wife Elizabeth Dyke, daughter and heiress of Thomas Dyke of Tetton, Holnicote and Pixton in Somerset. The ancient Ackland family, believed to be of Flemish origin, originated at the estate of Ackland in the parish of Landkey in North Devon, where it is first recorded in 1155. Career. Ackland was Colonel of the 1st Battalion, Devon Militia, formed to protect Great Britain from a feared French invasion. In 1774 he was elected Member of Parliament for the Rotten Borough of Callington in Cornwall, and forcefully expressed his Tory views in Parliament by virulently opposing the movement by the American colonists to obtain independence following their complaint of no taxation without representation. He poured scorn on those fellow MPs who sought to appease the colonists and called their proposed concessions nugatory and humiliating, and certain, to result in, a total convulsion of the British Empire. His vehemence is said to have alarmed even King George III himself, no friend of the revolutionary colonists, in his capacity as a colonel of militia and bypassing parliament. He presented a loyal address to the king in person, promising him aid whenever and wherever called upon to put down sedition and in which he portrayed the Whig opposition as rebels to the king's interests, akin to the American colonists. This action of his gained him the enmity of the Whig party. His wife's second cousin was the prominent Whig Charles James Fox, who criticised him savagely in Parliament. Whilst still a member of Parliament he purchased a commission as an officer in the 20th Regiment of Foot, at the state opening of Parliament in October 1774. The King spoke of a rebellious war, which had been opened by the colonists who had fired shots at Lexington and Concord, and John Ackland received the privilege of moving the formal vote of thanks to the King's speech in the House of Commons. This he did in fulsome and adulatory terms, which were ill-received by the Whig opposition. On 8 April 1776 and accompanied by his wife and his pet dog, Jack Ketch, he set sail in the Kent from Cork in Ireland for Canada as a major of grenadiers in the 20th foot, serving under his friend General John Burgoyne at the head of an army to reinforce the British troops. He was present with Burgoyne during his invasion of northern New York in 1777, prisoner of war on 7 October 1777 at the Battle of Bemis Heights, near Stillwater, New York. He was shot through the legs by the Americans and was taken prisoner. His wife, Lady Harriet, was allowed to enter the American camp to nurse her husband and was well treated by the American soldiers. Ackland was grateful for the treatment received when recuperating as a prisoner of war, so much so that following his return to England he challenged a certain Lieutenant Lloyd to a duel when the latter spoke poorly of Americans at a dinner party. Although he survived the duel, he caught a cold during it from which he died at Pixton Park in 1778. Marriage and Progeny In 1770 he married Lady Christian Henrietta Caroline Fox Strangways, a daughter of Stephen Fox Strangways, first Earl of Ilchester and a second cousin of the leading Whig statesman Charles James Fox, a political opponent of her husband. She accompanied her husband on his military service in Canada and displayed exceptionally courageous behaviour, for which she later became celebrated. Not only did she insist on following her husband as the campaigning progressed, but insisted on crossing over the Hudson River into enemy territory in order to nurse her prisoner of war husband for nine weeks. An oil painting, now at Killerton, was made illustrating her exploit of crossing the St. Lawrence, and was exhibited at the Royal Academy in London, and was made into a widely published engraving.
by his wife Ackland had the following progeny. Sir John Dyke Ackland, 8th Baronet, who on 24 February 1785 at the age of seven inherited the baronetcy on the death of his grandfather the 7th Baronet. He died a few weeks later aged seven, when the baronetcy passed to his uncle Sir Thomas Dyke Ackland, 9th Baronet. Elizabeth Kitty Ackland, who in 1796 married Henry George Herbert, 2nd Earl of Carnarvon. On her marriage she received as part of her marriage settlement the Ackland estates of Pixton and Tetton in Somerset, which thus passed into the Herbert family. Death and succession. He died aged 34 on 31 October 1778, and thus predeceased his father. He left an infant son born in 1778, aged only a few months old, who died seven years later, having inherited the baronetcy from his grandfather, and a daughter Elizabeth Kitty. His widow Harriet lived on at Pixton until 1796 when it was given to her daughter as part of her marriage settlement, and then at Tetton, until her death in 1815.